join the group if you want a backpack through Europe. For young, bright-eyed travelers, traveling around Europe is a rite of passage. Because it's safe, easy to travel, and full of fellow explorers, it's a great site to start your foreign adventures. Oh, but, there's always a but. Because the best things in life come with a minor caveat. If you don't keep an eye on it, traveling Europe will eat up all your cash. Well, if I tell you that you don't have to work your tail off to go on a European vacation, that you could experience the journey of your dreams without having to keep such a close eye on your finances. All you broke backpackers out there, take heart. There are a slew of cheap as hell destinations in Europe where you can travel for months on end without spending a lot of money. That is why I have made this video of Europe's cheapest countries. Some of them are even cheaper than those in Asia. These are also, coincidentally, some of Europe's best. Forget my Konos in Madrid, Europe's cheapest countries are vying for your affection. 1. Bulgaria Stop whatever you're doing and fly to Bulgaria. Yes, right now. Where do I begin when it comes to reasons to travel to Bulgaria? Bulgaria, possibly the cheapest country in the EU, deserves to be at the top of this list of the cheapest European countries to visit. Where else can you get a massive pork neck steak, a side of vegetables, and a beverage for less than 6 euros? Germany would never be able to. Bulgaria is unmistakably Eastern European. However, it can be blamed on EU members, as it appears to be more Western or Central European than its Balkan neighbors. Its big cities are brimming with cultural gems. Plovid was named European cultural capital in 2019, while its little towns, set against spectacular mountain scenery, will enchant you to madness. Furthermore, the best things to do in Bulgaria are completely free. Bulgaria has a lot of mountains, thus it's a great place for hikers. It also invites wild campers, which is a plus. Save your levas and set up camp for the night. Then hike Masala, the Balkans' highest peak, at sunrise. 2. Moldova Have you ever heard of Moldova? Because you're a traveler, and travelers are geography nerds, the answer is probably yes. But, do you have any knowledge of it? That's exactly what I was thinking. Backpackers return from their trips to Moldova with great news. The country is cool, hip, and mostly unaffected by mass tourism. Moldova is one of the trendiest low-cost countries in Europe, while being one of the least visited countries on the ancient continent. Moldova seduces you with its excellent wine and less traveled landscapes. Because we're in Eastern Europe, there are a lot of beautiful Orthodox churches. In addition, there are cave cities, castles, and princesses to save. Who knows? Maybe it's one of those things I made up. Chisinau, the capital, is a calm, green city. Make a point of seeing Old Orhe, a significant archaeological site. The breakaway nation of Transnistria is also worth a visit for the most daring adventurers. They have their own flag, money, and a lot of guts. But the rest of the world has yet to recognize them as a sovereign nation. 3. Ukraine You're undoubtedly planning a hiking trip to Ukraine if you just recently watched Chernobyl. Chernobyl is a fascinating area, and it is unquestionably Ukraine's most popular tourist destination. However, you should be aware that the nation is way more than its tragic past and present. Everyone who visits Kiev, the capital, appears to be taken aback. Why isn't everything gray and gloomy? What makes it so gasp and cool? The aesthetic of Kiev is a mix of brutalist Soviet buildings, colorful historic residences, and a healthy dose of modernized urban lifestyle. Another beautiful city is Lviv, near the Polish border, which was mostly spared from the horrors of World War II, and yet looks as lovely as ever. Odessa, on the other hand, is a lively seaside town with fantastic weather, great parties, and great beaches, located on the Black Sea's coast. Even the town's name has a lovely ring to it. Ukraine's extremely low rates appeal to more than just travelers. It's also a great place for digital nomads. 4. Kosovo What you might have believed was just a rebellious breakaway of Serbia. Turns out to be quite a wonderfully strange, highly European-minded country with plenty to see. Plus, adding a strange country like Kosovo to your list of countries visited gives you bragging rights. It's not like nobody cares, but it's still worth mentioning. Kosovo is most likely the cheapest country in Europe, and it is undoubtedly one of the greatest affordable European countries to visit. A regular hostel room costs around $10, and a restaurant dinner is around $5. And for $1 a piece, you can eat as much Burek as you want. 
Pristina, the capital, is home to a number of odd sites, including an independence monument that is repainted every year, and a library that's been labeled the ugliest building in the world, Prizren, in the south. Dishes both history and scenery on a silver platter. Plus, there's some terrific hiking. And don't believe everything you've heard about this tiny country's reputation. Kosovo is a completely safe place to visit. I'd avoid the north border area since Serbia has yet to recognize Kosovo's independence, thus the atmosphere can be strange. 5. Poland For years, Poland has been firmly planted on the conventional European backpacker routes. It's understandable. The country is one of the most affordable locations in Europe, with simple transport, a high level of safety, and a wide range of activities. There's even a desert there. It's a small one, but size doesn't seem to matter, is it? You can easily discover some of Europe's top hostels for $10 per night, including breakfast. If you're not cautious, entry fees to attractions can send you over budget, but with $2 pints, the beer budget doesn't have to be too expensive. The majority of backpackers visit Krakow for a weekend of wild partying and summer Holocaust history. Maybe they'll spend a few days in Warsaw, Poland's capital. While I adore Krakow as much as the next broke jerk, you could spend weeks wandering across Poland taking off new and strange sites. Rakla, Poznan, and Gdansk are all equally as lovely as Krakow, and they all deserve a lot more attention. Then there are the Tatras, a magnificent snow-capped mountain range that runs between Poland and Slovakia. Try some of the locally smoked cheese. 6. Hungary Let's face it, we're both aware that traveling Hungary is almost associated with traveling Budapest. After all, the capital is Hungary's glamorous, edgy, dynamic heart for locals, digital nomads, and backpackers alike. Budapest is unquestionably deserving of its illustrious reputation. It's a must-see for any East European backpacking trip not only because of its super cheap and delicious food and beer, but also because its hedonistic parties are well known among backpackers all over the world. The ruined bars are the best thing about Budapest. They are basically bars that could have been created by Frankenstein, patchwork wide, grungy, unexpected, and unmistakably cool. Architectural gems, such as the Parliament Building and Fisherman's Bastion, can be found on the cultural side of things. You can also get rid of your hangover by visiting a hot spring. But, well, I'd never advise you to spend all of your time in one filthy old town. Visit Siget Music Festival, one of Europe's largest music festivals. View Europe's largest necropolis at Pax, and take a day trip to Edger, a Baroque town. 7. North Macedonia Before Greece took over the entire name, it was simply known as Macedonia. This Balkan country is willing to join the European Union as well as your heart. It's smack dab in the midst of the peninsula, so avoiding it on one's Balkan trip is nearly immoral. Skopje, the capital, is notable for its astronomical number of statues, with over a hundred in the city center. The majority of them are brand new, constructed by the government to promote tourism and, and national pride. It appears to have worked, based on the fact that we're talking about it now. However, my favorite places in North Macedonia are the ones that are more relaxed and focused on nature. Lake Akrit as well as the small seaside towns that surround it are really charming, and there's some great hiking to be had. Oh, and North Macedonia is not only one of the cheapest European nations to visit, but also one of the cheapest in the Balkans, which is saying a lot considering how inexpensive backpacking in the Balkans is. 8. Bosnia-Herzegovina Do you want to know why you should include Bosnia in your backpacking itinerary? First and foremost, if we haven't already done so, we are about to enter cheap as fuck territory. But don't let money or your lack thereof influence your decision. Instead, let Bosnia's sheer awesomeness persuade you. Bosnia has mostly been put back together two decades after a conflict that ripped the country apart. Don't get me wrong, the country's politics are still messed up. When the politicians couldn't agree on a non-divisive local hero figure, they constructed a statue of Bruce Lee. This is one of the reasons Bosnia is a great place to visit if you're interested in dark tourism. Still, as long as you remain on the well-worn path, the country is now completely safe to travel. Landmines still abound throughout the countryside and on marked mountains. Sarajevo, the capital, is a mini Istanbul. Although it's a lot more laid back, Sarajevo is unquestionably one of the nicest cities in Europe to visit. You might spend the entire day wandering from one tea shop to the next, eating delectable tiny cakes, or you could join a free walking tour and learn about the country's tragic history. 
Mostar, a modest town with a rich history and charming narrow streets, is a must-see. Set up a picnic along the riverbank and watch the local diving club and occasionally daring tourists dive down the river's 20-meter bridge. 9. Serbia If we're ever talking about countries with a poor reputation, Serbia is a strong contender. It was at the heart of the Balkan Wars in the 1990s, carelessly perpetrated atrocities in Bosnia, and refuses to let Kosovo free to live her best life. Serbia still enjoys rubbing shoulders with its ally Russia. Even yet, traveling Serbia is a fantastic experience and a great time after you get beyond all the Putin images that are strewn about the region. It's a country that lives up to its reputation. Plus, it's incredibly cheap. Belgrade, the capital, has been considered one of Europe's most amazing party capitals. I've heard wild stories of Belgarde nightlife, including boat bars and hedonistic shenanigans. They seem to all be true. Raves are unexpectedly popular in Serbia. Even a large dance music event, Exit Festival, is well known throughout Europe. 10. Albania Albania is the Mediterranean's best-kept secret. Even though it's been firmly on the suntan package vacation roster for years, the cheapest Mediterranean country is nevertheless described to as an undiscovered treasure. Mountains can be found in northern Albania. Just incredible, fantastic, and majestic mountains that are part of the three-country Balkan Peaks trek. Shikoder, the nearest city, is a sleepy little village with nothing to do but be pretty and cool. Tirana is a bustling metropolis with breathtaking sunsets, urban exploration, and a wealth of history. There are even sculptures of socialist leaders. Albania was once so socialist that it declined international collaboration with Soviet Russia and China because they were not socialist enough in terms of sunshine and good times. The seaside is comparable to that of Croatia, except that the prices are about a sixth of those on the Croatian coast. I must point out that Albanian cuisine is really inexpensive. Furthermore, it is the best spot in the Balkans for vegetarian backpackers, having far more options than other Balkan countries. Albanians, by the way, adore tourists. It's among of the friendliest people I've ever met in Europe. More than that, I'd say I'm at the pinnacle of romance. I was proposed to using Google Translate.